everyone, it's Caitlin Kramer, your 2019-2020 National All-American Miss. And for today's video, I'm getting ready to give you guys tips for your state pageants. As you know, state pageants are just around the corner. It is about to be summer and I promised you guys that I would give you guys tips on your main areas of competition so that you guys can be ready when your state pageant comes along to do your very best. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the interview competition. And this is a competition where a lot of girls have DM'd me, asking me questions, and I wanted to go ahead and get this video out there. That way you guys can start practicing and get everything together so that you can do your best in the interview competition. For me, the interview competition is my favorite area of competition, and it is the competition that I do score the highest on. So I want to be able to take the tips that I have learned over my years with National American Miss and share them with you guys. That way you guys can do your best because I really want you guys to do well at your state pageant. I want you guys to qualify for nationals and I want to see you guys this November. So let's get right into it. So as always, I have my computer here with all of my notes and I'm going to be taking you guys and giving you guys tips on how to do your very best. And I'm actually going to start with the resume. So with the resume, I feel like a lot of people overlook resume. It is super important that your resume is the best that it can be. So my first tip is when you get your resume template from them and you get your paper, um, you need to make sure to make lots of copies of the resume itself, just the plain blank resume. And what you're going to do is you're going to practice on that resume exactly what you want to write and you're going to do it over and over and over again until it looks perfect and it's the way that you like it and you feel good about it and then you're going to write it on your actual resume that you're going to turn in the reason why i say to make copies and to practice is because you want to make sure that you're talking about you know the hobbies and the awards that you're most proud of that you're explaining everything that you need to and that you like how it looks and you're not rushed so this is really important that you do this before the actual pageant and that you take your time with this because it's really important because the judges do look at it and they may even ask you some questions from your resume. So you want it to look your best. Next is make sure that you, the contestant, are actually writing your resume. And this goes whether you're a princess to a miss. It is so important that you girls are writing the resume and there's mainly two reasons. The first reason is writing a resume is an excellent skill to have. You need to learn how to do it because when you get ready to, for whatever career you're going into, a job that you're interviewing for, an internship, you need to know how to write a really good resume and this is preparing you to do so. So it's really important that the girl herself writes the resume. The second thing is the judges can always tell if you've written your own resume or if somebody else has. So they want to learn more about you. This is your competition. This is all about you. So it's really important that you actually do it. I've written my own resume ever since I was a princess contestant. Did I have the best handwriting? Absolutely not. I was terrible at writing, but it was really important. And for a lot of years when I was younger, I actually won best resume because I think the judges are really impressed that at six, seven, eight years old, I was writing my own resume and that's something I have to thank my mom for because she was really adamant about me writing my own resume because this was something that I wanted to do so I had to put in the work. So that is my other biggest tip. Next, as you're writing your hobbies or the organizations that you belong to, maybe even the awards that you have won, make sure that you explain them. So if it's an award that you won, explain why you got that award or what the qualifications were. If you are a a part of hobbies or organizations explain them especially things that have acronyms because the judges may not always know what that is so for example I was a part of HOSA in high school so that is Health Occupation Students of America so I'd actually write that out and say you know it was a club for people who were interested in the medical fields in high school that way they knew exactly what it was because they may want to learn more about that they may not know what just an acronym is so make sure that you explain in detail what you are a part of, what you did, maybe if you held a certain position in school or in a club, what your duties were. That way we learn more about you. 
Next is don't be afraid to brag about yourself. List all of your accomplishments, list what you are most proud of, but make sure that you are only listing what you feel is the most important. You don't want your resume to be overwhelming with a lot of information and look really crowded, so pick the things that are most important to you. Finally, keep a copy with you. So as you know, when you go to uh, your pageant check-in, you're gonna turn in your actual resume, but I want you guys, before you get to the pageant, make a copy of your final resume and keep that copy to yourself and turn in your actual resume at pageant check-in. The reason why I say this is because the day before your interview competition or even a couple hours before you go into interview, I want you to look over your resume. That way you remember exactly what you put just in case the judges do ask you a question from your resume, you know exactly what they're talking about. And I feel like that's just a good tip to do overall in life. You know, whether you're um, applying for a certain job, have a copy of your resume so you remember what you put. Next thing I wanna talk about is interview outfits. I love interview outfits. I think that they're so much fun and there's so much variation now with interview. So it's really common for interview competitions at National American Miss specifically to see lots of dresses and jumpsuits. When I was younger, there were a lot of suits, little girl suits that girls would wear. And now you don't see that that often. However, I have seen some suits at the national competition and even at some state competitions before. So, you know, it's totally up to you. You want to feel some, get something that makes you feel comfortable and you look your best, you feel your best. One thing that I will say is I always get lots of questions about the color of the outfit. Does it matter? I know that for a lot of girls, they told me, you know, well, for regular interview, you're supposed to wear more neutral colors like black, white, creams. But remember, this is a pageant, so don't be afraid to play with color. The judges absolutely love color. So if you wanna wear hot pink, green, orange, blues, reds, don't be afraid to use those colors. This past year when I competed at nationals, I wore a bright yellow dress and then half of it was turquoise and it had this really fun bell sleeve. So definitely don't be afraid to play with color because that is something that'll help you stand out. You also wanna make sure that your interview outfit reflects your personality. I felt like mine did that. So that's something to definitely keep in mind when you're searching for your interview outfit. The other thing is make sure that your interview outfit fits you. That's kind of a main rule for any area of competition, but you want to make sure it is altered to you. So, you know, if it needs to be longer, if it needs to be a little shorter, if it needs to be taken in, make sure that you make all those alterations before you go and compete. That way it looks great and appealing to the eye. Also, when it comes to jewelry, I tend to go with minimum, very, small jewelry i don't wear a whole lot of jewelry so personally i stay away from bracelets and necklaces rings you know anything like that for interview i usually only wear earrings when i was younger i would wear a little stud kind of something similar to what i'm wearing today or even a small dangle earring for like the older girls um, you don't want it to be like the big dangle earrings that you would wear in formal wear. It can be kind of just small, very simple. They can be colored, they can be like the jewel toned, but you wanna just make sure it's very simple and nothing too crazy because you don't want it to distract from you. The whole idea for interview is that the judges is focusing on you and what you're saying, not so much on your outfit in a whole, although the outfit can help you, so you want it to enhance you but you don't want it to take over you, if that kind of makes sense. Next, I'm gonna talk right about hair and makeup. Go we'll jump right into that. So hair and makeup is really important for interview. Your hair should be out of your face. So today I kind of have my hair just down and it's pinned back. You could curl it, but just make sure it is out of your face. A lot of girls right now are doing a high ponytail. It looks super sleek and it looks simple. I love the high ponytail look but just make sure it is out of your face because you are going to be sitting one-on-one -on -one with the judge and they wanna see your face. For makeup, your makeup should be super natural and soft, kind of a soft glam. So as we know, for formal wear, you would wear a little bit more makeup than you probably do in your normal life or you know, just because the lights are very harsh and you're on stage, so you wanna make sure that the judges are able to see your face. But with interview, remember you are up close so you don't want to wear big, heavy makeup. I do wear lashes, but they are a very natural lash. 
I use the Kiss Lashes in, I believe, the style Shy. That is a very simple lash. You can cut them to fit your eye, but or you don't even have to wear lashes for that and just throw on mascara, whatever you're most comfortable, but make sure it is a very soft, natural, glam look, nothing too over the top. You want it to be very simple. And remember for younger girls, you're not allowed to wear makeup, so make sure that you read the rules. That is all in your NAM magazines on who is able to wear makeup and who isn't. So make sure you follow those rules because the judges do know about those rules. So it's important that you do as well and that you're following them. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is now the actual interview competition now that we've kind of built up on how to prepare for it. So I'm going to explain the room setup for the interview competition. So in pageantry for National American Miss, the style of interview is round robin. That is a term that you'll hear. So there's a round robin style interview and that is when the judges, there's usually about five to eight depending on your state and they're each sitting at their own like chair and they have their own little table and it's usually in the half circle in the room and what you're going to do is you're going to sit down with each judge and they're going to ask you a question so what will happen is you will stand by the door there will be a NAM staff standing there they will tell you that you can go ahead and meet the first judge you will go there and you will start your interview competition so some of the tips that I have is when you go to meet the judge, you're actually going to stand next to the chair. You're not just going to sit down right away. Go ahead and stand next to the chair because they're tab tab ooh, tabulating up their scores from the last girl and writing their comments and just getting ready for the next person, which would be you in this case. So you're gonna just stand by the chair and just be smiling and be ready and let them go ahead and finish, show them that respect. They're going to go ahead and tell you that you can go ahead and sit down and that is when you can sit down i always suggest you are going to have your resume you're going to have that and i suggest to you that you have it and you're holding it facing the judge that way they can just hand it straight to them it is facing them and you guys are ready to go and you're not wasting any time you're ready to do awesome in that interview competition so you'll do that I also suggest that when you are talking to the judges, you greet them, you say, hi, my name is, or, you know, hi, how are you today? Or good morning, good afternoon, whatever it may be. Just greet them because that's what you would do in a normal interview. And this is set up like a business style interview. Next thing that you will do is you will have your interview. The judge will ask you a question and it's your time to answer. I think the biggest thing with girls that they always tell me is they say, I don't want to sound rehearsed. And that's a good thing because you don't. So the best way that you can do that is when you go into the interview competition, understand that this is more, this is just a conversation. That's literally all it is. So my best advice is you want to answer as if you're talking to your mom, to your best friend, whoever it may be. You want it to be really natural and effortless. And I think for a lot of girls, they get confused with having a really good answer versus being themselves. And they kind of don't know how to combine the two. And the best thing is the judges are really looking for a girl who is being authentic, a girl who is being herself. So you want to answer, answer truthfully. And the best way that you can do that is treating it as a conversation. So that's all it is. There is no right or wrong answer in an interview. They're not going to mark you down if you say that your favorite color is green instead of blue. That is not the case. There is no right or wrong answer because the questions are all about you and your opinions. So when you go to answer, make it simple. Make it effortless. Just answer it like if we were talking right here. You don't want to sound too pageanty because then the judges aren't sure if you're being yourself. So as you're practicing for interview, just practice as if you're talking to your mom or a close friend. And you can do that by still being professional, but still being yourself. And that is the biggest thing that is super, super important is being yourself. Each and every one of you girls brings something so valuable to the table. Each one of you girls will be an excellent title holder and representative. So you need to show that to the judges. And the best way in doing that is just being yourself. That's all it is. Um, a lot of girls don't really know how to stand out in their interview competitions. The best thing that I always suggest is doing some soul searching and kind of figuring out who you are as a person. 
So for the younger girls and even the older girls, I always say, find two or three things that make you stand out from other people or two or three things that you are the most proud about yourself or the things that are most interesting about you. And when you have those two or three things, when you go into the interview, you're going to know, okay, I want the judges to know these things about me. And you will find ways to insert those things in the competition when you are going for an interview. So for example, I may want to talk about that how I'm adopted and that I live on the border. Those are two things that make me super unique and that I am very proud of. So if a judge says, what do you look for in a good friend? I could say, I would look for a friend who is very diverse and accepts all people. And then I would talk about how I am adopted and I live on the border and I'm super proud to be among all kinds of different types of people. And I would look for a friend who has that same attitude and is very positive and very loving towards all kinds of different people because I think that that is the best attitude to have. Well, great. Now the judge knows what I look for in a good friend. They know that I am adopted and that I live on the border. So instead of just knowing one thing, they now know three things, if that kind of makes sense. So just practice those kinds of things and figure out ways how you can insert those important things. And there's things that you are most proud of about yourself in the interview competition when they ask you those questions. Next thing is you want to make sure you are smiling through the interview. You want to look happy. You want to look excited that you are there. Um, you don't have to smile when you are explaining every part of your answer. You know, you can kind of soften it up or if you're talking about something more serious, your face can get more serious, but you do want to have really positive, happy energy. So the judge can tell that you're excited to be there and that you are really enjoying the process. Finally, I want to talk about how you should sit in the interview. When you go to sit down in your chair, whether you're a little girl or you are a miss, you want to make sure that your back is not touching the back of the seat. So you're going to actually scoot up and sit more towards the edge of the chair. You're going to make sure you're sitting up straight with your straight back, showing really great posture because that's really positive body language. And you want to make sure that your ankles are crossed. So your ankles are crossed, your, your leg is not on your knee crossed, your ankles are crossed and they're kind of to the side and you're sitting up straight. The reason why we say ankles crossed is because if you cross at your knees, you may get nervous and you might start swinging your leg and you don't wanna kick the judge because that would be really bad. So just ankles, at, ankles crossed and sitting up straight will really also help with your posture and really show positive body language. So when you are practicing interview at home, actually practice sitting down and sitting in that posture. That way it becomes muscle memory and you're ready for your state pageants. So those are the tips that I have for the interview competition. I really hope that this helped. If you have any other questions or maybe are unsure about something, you can definitely reach out to me through my social media. I would love to hear from you and I hope that this helped you. Please comment down below what tip you love the best and how you are preparing for your state pageant. I'm really excited to see you guys all at your state pageants and I hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy if you want to continue following me on my reign you can follow me on my title holder page at the nam a, -A miss or you can follow me on my personal page at caitlin kramer thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in the next video bye